project called I Like to Roomba Roomba. So basically what we did is we took our Roomba and kept its autonomous functionality where it goes around and it cleans normally, but then added this sponge parameter around it so that it's able to absorb the water. So previously the Roomba could only pick up 20% of the puddle, but then with the added sponges now it can pick up 95% of the puddle. So it goes around, cleans up all the puddles, and once the Roomba is about to die or it's done cleaning, it automatically docks itself to its charging station. So we added this button that applies enough force um, through these linear actuators and enough iterations that it squeezes all the water outside of the sponges. And you can see it go down now and it compresses all, all the sponges. And then it stores all the water inside this, this bin. The way we identified this problem is we talked to custodians and we asked them how they currently deal with the problem of water and snow coming in. What they do is just let it dry and then in the morning they operate this really heavy machine that costs around $6,000 to just clean up what's left of the salt residue. So we knew that there's definitely like a cheaper way to do it. The first approach that we did is we tried to modify the brushes so that the Roomba itself can pick up the water but faced a lot of issues because we tried to make the brushes out of this 3D printed material with rubber fins but it was too much friction to pick up any water so we then moved into trying to apply like a shop vac mechanism of just like having a vacuum itself that cleans up the water but then a shop vac mechanism is really heavy and it applied it all the way down the room but it didn't let it function properly so we went to the simplest possible solution of absorbing water which is just sponges after putting in like so many like hours in those three weeks like seeing this work and be able to absorb all the water and then go up automatically and have it like squeeze everything, it was very rewarding. And also talking to the custodians and like showing them this and they're all like, this is so freaking cool. And they were so excited about it that like it was really rewarding. I'll definitely take the resilience that it taught me into other classes.